Hello, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a really nice little segment for you. We're here with Michael Gore from Virtuoso Golf, which is this fantastic facility you see in front of you. And we're going to be having a little three-old challenge around St Andrews. So, fancy yourself, Mike? Now I'm a bit worried. You've been telling me you've been training <laughs> for the long drive competition. So, uh, I've been busy setting this up. I've had a golf ball, so I'm a bit worried about it, to be honest with you. It's all right. He's kidding. He is a scratch golfer. Um, he's just being coy. So, let's get into it. All right, so first hole at St Andrews, iconic first hole. Yeah, I've never played it, have you played it? Maybe not once, yeah. Have you? What yeah, was it like? Yeah. Unreal. Well, I can only remember three holes, one, 17 and 18. Wow. But yeah, fantastic. And it's a fair way you shouldn't miss. Oh, <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> Biggest one in golf. Right, well, I'll go with a two iron and just try and cry, it, just try and cry it somewhere down Three, there 375 yard hole, let's see it. Nice. Perfect. I've been told go left on St Andrews, so yeah. I made sure I turned my right hand over there. Hook somewhere down this. There you go. <laughs> no pressure then, Alison. No pressure. I'm already on the fairway. <laughs> oh. Show this fairway in this club head speed from the long drive, guys. Oh, I don't know about that, man. Back might fall out. Disclaimer, they're not my clubs, they are Michael's, so. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It's a good way up at the right. Get down. Is that going out? Get down. Oh, it's okay. all right. Just in. That was horrendous. That came off the <laughs> hosel. It's all right, we'll recover with a wedge game. There we go. I think it's probably still me. Dead sheep. Dead sheep? 167. Still you? 169, is it? 169. Do you want me to move those posts out the way for you? Can you? Can you do that on trap, man? <laughs> <laughs> Just customise it I'm as you want. I'm still learning. I was hoping you'd know how to. <laughs> right, 169, eight time. Let's just smash it up, see if we can get up there. That was a good swing. That was a good hit. Is it going to go? That was a good swing. The wind's just taking it in. Go! Get up. Yeah, you're on the green. Good oh, shot. It's a decent recovery. Yeah, it was. Redeemed myself for that one. Good shot. That's one of the things I'm finding with the um, with the simulators. Oh, yeah. One of my 136 little 99er. Um, that you, you don't use your senses. So when you when you're on the course, you stand there and you can feel the wind in and you can see it's uphill. Yeah. And straight away, without thinking, for for the, for the people who play golf before, you just add on a club without thinking. Here, you need to actually look and see what right the winds we're into and. We're downhill or we're uphill, you need to actually yeah, think yeah. about it rather than just let your senses use it. Is yeah, what, definitely. Is, is, uh, that's the thing that I've found. I've hit a few shots when I, when I have played and I've gone, how's that so short? And then you look and you're oh, we're into the wind. Yeah, into or, the wind. Or, or, uphill. or, or it's uphill or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right then, so. It's at 136. Yeah. Let's see it. Just trying a little, little knockdown nine. That's got a little work. That wasn't the best shot in the world. Get over. Sit. Yeah, the bad swing that. It was a good layup. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I was short of the uh, short of the stream. <laughs> 34 yards. A little bit of wedge magic, Spanish hands and all that. Eh, uh, something like that. Scouse hands. Scouse hands. <laughs> Scouse hands. 34. Nice. Oh. oh, maybe not quite Good within play. gimme. Maybe not quite within gimme. I mean, gimme. I'd probably give it you to be fair, but... 12 foot, just 12 outside, foot. that'll be a two foot bogey. One down already. Par bogey. There you go. Your honour, your honour. HP on the tee. What's this next one now? Par four. How far are we? You really can't remember it, can you? No. 400 yards. 400. 
I don't know why, but I always thought the second at St Andrews was a uh, was a par five. Like I say, I can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there. No clue. I've gone past it a lot when I've been going to work. It's a great the, uh, town. It's is a great it? town. Like the whole town is effectively built around the golf course. So up 18 on the right hand side, it's just the high street. Yeah. Like shops and bars and all that. It's proper cool. I need to get there. I've, pl I've played the open courses in, in England, but I need to move up to Scotland and play oh. the, and uh, Northern Ireland and play them over there. Definitely. That was a good swing. That was uh, a lot better. Very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. So we're thinking two iron, yeah, because it, it narrows down there Just a little bit. Just gets a bit, bit narrow, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Narrows down. Is it wrong that I'm feeling a bit nervous? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the one. They're two good ones anyway. Perfect. Better than me nine iron. <laughs> Kick left. Oh, just there. There you go, members Perfect. bounce as well. Perfect, you've got to talk to it. Talk yeah. to it and it'll do it. That's what Lee Trevino said, wasn't it? Yeah. If, you're, uh, if you don't talk to it, how, do you, how does it know what you want to do? <laughs> oh, that 172. So, On 172, and we're uphill a little bit. Right to left. Bit of wind up for Yeah. Because we're not fully warm, it would normally be a seven, but I'll just go down the shaft on a six. Right then. See if we can put a swing on it like that. Strike. Hit it wind. Cut back a bit. Hit it wind. Might be over the trap, I think. Should be fine. I'm nice. on the green. Not bad, that. Yeah, that'll Good. do. Right. That'll do. We've got 133. Them muscles put you a lot further down the, uh, <laughs> the fairway than me. I was reading quotes. I'm trying to, uh, around the, around the, uh, the venue, we're trying to get quotes of golfers and, and, and stuff, what they said, and one of them is Lee Trevino, is you can make a lot of money out of golf. Just ask both of my two ex-wives' husbands. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, isn't it? <laughs> That's the one. Right, bit of wind off the left, 133, hit mm -hmm. a little wedge in there. See if we can just massage it in. Yeah, another good swing there, mate. Is it going to be Wind's right just making it leak a little bit, but I think that'll be close. Be good. It is. Oh, is it a, a gimme? Just a cultured wedge oh, in there. Oh, we like that. Cultured wedge. 14 oh, foot, just outside. just outside, I think. Let's have a look, see what it says. Two puts par, two puts par. It's all right. Friendly hole. Very friendly. Right. So at least it's all going down. The last is still a chance. Par four, well, may as well get it out. Hey, yeah. Yeah, we'll get the stick out. Even though you're winning. Yeah. Are you there, Rodney? There you go. Got the white or the pink ones there, or. See whether we watch the tee come flying backwards. That's one thing that the tees do, do, don't they? Yeah, they it, do, they do tend they, they to. They do uh, ping around a little bit. They can ping around a bit, right. That's a new shaft in it. I've just oh, got this is nice, that. I've got recommended well, that shaft. Yeah, yeah, I did get recommended. It's really stable through the ball. Oh, it's a bit low and healy. It's got to get right. That's fine, though. That's fine. So I've got to go with the driver as well now, haven't I? Otherwise I won't hear the last of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Rick. Ooh. The Stay straight. Oh, it's leaking towards the bunkers. Go on, miss it. Miss it. Oh, it was close to popping out. Struggling now. <laughs> Could be game over. Hack out. That is, that's the worst thing about Lynx golf, isn't it? If you hit it in a fairway bunker, you just, 
sideways. Yeah, <laughs> and what, what if everyone thinks, um, well, the uh, people that I've seen have come in and they don't treat it like a proper Lynx yeah. bunker. And actually what you need to do is aim sideways and just get it out. Yeah. Even on the out. simulators as well, because yeah. there's just... Uh, you've got to take all the elevation into account. You've just got to make sure that you're out. So we'll just try and get it in the middle of the fairway. There you go. Medicine took and just hope. That'll do. Hope you don't hit as good a shot as what you did on the last. <laughs> just on you. 78 you've got. 78. So, uh -oh. so it's slightly uphill, slightly downwind, so it's probably going to be playing about 81, 82. Shot that. Shouldn't be a million miles Won't away. Be close. Spin oh, back for me. Spin back for me. Come on. Go in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nearly. He's redeemed himself. There you go. Take your medicine and, and take your medicine and stay paid. That's a 54 degree. That'll do. Is that okay? Yeah. 54 degree, 64 yards. Just a little. Nice little chippy wedge over the bunker. Yeah, let so, it let it run out. Yeah, something like that. We'll have a look. Bit left, Just pulled it. Has he made sure? Yeah, he's made sure he's got over the bunker. Oh, That's nice and safe. Distance was good, but there you go. But beat me by one. By one. And I get a shot, don't I? Because you're plus one. Yeah, that's the one. So, <laughs> so it was an honourable. So it was half. all square, really. Honourable half. Thank Mike, you, mate. Really cheers, enjoyed pal. That. Thank you. Um, obviously, hope you guys kind of enjoyed that little three-hole stint. Um, if you do want to come down to Virtuoso Golf in Haydock, get on the website virtuosogolf.co.uk. Virtuoso-golf. Virtuoso-golf.co.uk. You can book online. They've got five bays here to choose from. Um, loads of options. They've got hot food on, coffees beers every bay is track man um, it's probably the one of the best indoor facilities that we've made um, so yeah get yourselves down here get booked in have some fun over the winter